的时候，对许多人而言，它代表了一种想象；但是有的时候，它对你而言，可能是一场启发。欢迎你收看今天的《文倩世界周报》。当金马奖在播出的时刻，我们特别要为大家推荐有一部国外的电影《人生八十才开始》。为什么呢？他说的是一个非常贫穷的非洲肯亚人的故事。他年少的时候，为了对抗英国殖民主义，也参加过起义。但是，贫穷的非洲完全没有受教育的机会。后来，肯亚开始了可以有受教育的一些相关的条件，但是他已经老了，他该去受教育吗？他选择如此，而他开始受教育的时刻是八十岁。所以，这部影片叫做《人生八十才开始》。只要你活着，没有一件事情会太晚。这是一个真实的故事，就发生在美国总统奥巴马的故乡肯亚。时间回溯到二零零四年的某一天，卡普肯杜伊沃小学门前来了一位老人，要求接受国家提供的免费教育。Go home, Jose. I can see you've had a hard life. Go home and rest in peace. Rest in peace. I'm not dead. Look, Mze. My name is Kimani Nganga Maruge. Kimani Anya Maruge, 曾经是个毛毛战士。一九五一年，以几乎游族为主的肯亚人向英国殖民政府要求扩大参政权和土地改革。遭到拒绝后，肯亚人发动了毛毛起义，自一九五二年持续到一九六零年。英国人使尽了一切手段镇压这群暴民，数以百万计的肯亚人因此遭到逮捕、刑求和屠杀。住在首都奈洛比附近的基库游人几乎全部被灭绝。Renounce your oath and you can go home. Renounce the oath again. 毛毛起义虽然失败了，却在殖民地人民与英国当局之间制造了深深的裂痕。为一九六三年肯亚的独立打下了基础。You don't give up easily, do you, Maruge? 当年八十四岁的马鲁格就这样成为卡普肯杜伊沃小学第两百零七个学生，也是今世世界纪录中全球最年长的小学生。Maruge, can you come and write number six for us? Watch out, Maruge. Stop. Watch out. Maruge, will you write the number six for us? Maskia vibaya. Maski vibaya. Sana ukimi. Maski yangu ndio vibaya. Maski vizuri. Thank you. 但他牺牲所有换来的国家，却一点都不感激。家长、教育当局，甚至亲朋好友，都不愿意看到一个八十四岁的老人跟小学生一起读书识字。Now, class, please sit down. I came to say goodbye. I told them. A goat cannot read. A goat cannot write his name. They must study hard. 
or they'd be like me, an old man, no better than a goat. You know, goats are very clever animals. They never give up. We can learn a very good lesson from them. Class, I have an important announcement. From now on, Maruge is going to be my teaching assistant. I'm impressed. 只有甄老师被马鲁格的毅力所感动，甘愿赌上前途，帮老人家完成心愿。国际媒体也适时的推波助澜。Kusoma na kuelewa ni mugimu sana. India juu moja ya kubalisa umaskini. What did he say? He says the power is in the pen. To read and understand, it's very important. This is one way of finishing poverty among us. New York Times, LA Times, Kenya Times. From CNN to BBC, from Kenya Times to New York Times, the world is more divided. The power of Maruge is more divided. The power of Maruge is more divided. The power of Maruge is more divided. 他们便赶走甄老师。My mother never went to school, but she said to me, "Jane, you must love education because I want you to be better than me." Now I am your mother, and I am telling you all, you must love education so that you can be better than me. And all of us teachers here. Those who forgot, Maruge is a general, a permanent general. Maruge decided to fight for the education system of Kenya. I'm here for a teacher. Now, what is it? 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 They chopped off my toes. Mr. Chairman. Mr. Maruge. That's enough. We have to learn from our past. We must not forget. But we must be better. We need good teachers. We reap what we sow with our children. Bring her back. Life is eighty-eight that starts. Saying is the story of the Maruge family, it is also the story of the Kenyan blood. The British director Justin Chowicke, through the image, has shown the scars that the British brought to Kenya in the past without being seen in the public eye. 而身为战乱幸存者，马鲁格则向世人证明，教育是脱离贫穷、改变世界唯一的力量。二零零五年九月，马鲁格获邀到纽约联合国总部，向各国领袖发表教育宣言。这是他人生第一次搭飞机，也是最后一次。二零零九年八月，已升上小学五年级的马鲁格因胃癌病逝，享年八十九岁。